finger. I'm Benny's sister and Mrs. White's other dog. She talks about you guys all the time. It's like I'm not even here. I mean, hello. I hang out with her all day and she's just on that box thing with lights pretending to talk to people like they're there in the room. I don't get it. But Benny said reading the story was super fun and I wanted to read you guys a special story. Do you like my hat? It fits because today I am going to read Hats Are Not For Cats by Jacqueline K. Rayner. Obviously, hats are better for dogs. Ahem. Excuse me, cat. I see you're wearing a hat. But hats are not for cats. Hats, you see, are for dogs like me. Hats are not for cats. See, I look much better in a hat, and so does he. Hats, or not hats that are big, or hats that are small. Hats are not for cats at all. Not pink, or stripy, or polka dot. Dogs wear hats, and cats do not. Look at him. See, he's teaching the cat. Correct wearing of hats. Dog, check, yes. Cat, X, no. Not hats that are festive or hats that are fun. Not hats for the cold or hats for the sun. Not hats that are fussy or hats that are frilly. Not hats that are serious. Or hats that are silly. That's crazy. A fruit hat? Who ever heard about something like that? Not fine hats or flapper. Not dashing and dapper. Not pirate or party. Not odd hats or arty. Not hats from Tasmania or Transylvania. Not hats from Peru. Or Timbuktu. Ugh, that dog is getting grumpy. I don't blame him. I'd be grumpy too. Hats mm, for... Oh, it does double page. Hats are not for cats. Well, I don't blame him. I'd be pretty pleased with myself, too, if I finally taught a cat that they do not wear hats. Uh-oh. That darn cat came back for the hat. Hats are for cats. Wait. I'm going to go. 
I'll take care of that. I hope you enjoyed my story. Bye-bye.